we are responsible for creating value. We're trying to create financial value. We're trying to create social value. Hi, and welcome to On Purpose. Today, I'm joined by Vivek Shaw, CEO of Ziff Davis. Welcome, Vivek, it's great to see you. Uh, it's great to be here, Kristen, thanks for having me. So I don't think your history is quite as long as Ziff Davis's, but maybe if we can start a little bit about your early childhood. Uh, I know your dad came over from India, um, and you know, tell me a little bit more about you know, how you were raised and how that influenced you as a first-generation American. Yeah, no, so my dad came to this country in, in 1962. He was one of only 300 individuals in India who were granted a visa to visit the United States. It was a very different time, and he had come here to get a master's degree at Bucknell in engineering, and he loved it. And so came back to the country. I was born here um, and, and raised here and grew up in Queens, New York, which is a great place to grow up generally, but certainly an incredibly diverse place. And so I grew up around every sort of nationality, every sort of background, every sort of race, and it really did inform and and make me who I am today. I kind of think of myself as being able to get along with anyone um, and needing to get along with anyone and, and meeting people where they are. And it's been uh, it's been a, it's been a great ride. And today I live in Westchester County with with my four kids and, and wonderful life. Well, you, you you rose pretty quickly through the ranks. I know you were a group president at Time Inc. Um, and I know editors named you one of the big rising stars of the digital age. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, the transformation you were part of leading at Time, moving from the mostly paper magazines to the digital space and sort of what you learned during that journey. We could see really in the, in the late 90s, a clear shift in both consumer behavior as well as advertiser behavior, which are the two ways in which most media companies, certainly magazine, uh, businesses make money and 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 those are their business models. So you could see those shifts. And so I very much said, look, we've got to understand this technology. We have to understand how to harness it. I spent a lot of my time at Timing thinking about how to establish our brands on the internet, over time on mobile, over time through native applications and the various ways in which media properties can reach consumers. And look, I think we made some really good progress, but I ended up leaving the company because I wanted to, to take my ideas and my thesis in a place where I was unobstructed and where I could play it out. And that's in ultimately how the Zip Davis uh, deal came together. You've won you know, numerous leadership awards throughout your career. Talk to me a little bit about what leadership means to you. The way I think about the company and therefore my leadership of the company is that we are responsible for creating value. We're trying to create financial value. We're trying to create social value. It's sort of that shift from kind of the shareholder capitalism uh, construct that I grew up in, where it was all about creating value for shareholders to the stakeholder capitalism construct that I firmly believe in, which is the purpose of our company is to enhance the experiences of not just our shareholders, our employees, our partners, our communities, society at large. That is the purpose, in my mind, of the corporation. And so if you've got a well-defined purpose and you know what you need to do, my job as a leader is to basically articulate that, yes, but to empower everyone in the organization to meet that purpose, to meet that mission. One of the things I found really inspiring as I did more research on you was your commitment and your creation of Street Squash. Because um, I think it gets right back to what you're saying, giving back to your community. So can you share a little bit more about the history and the impact of Street Squash? Yeah, and to, and to be clear, it's, I'm on the board. Um, George Bolsky, the founder, is an amazing human being. He created a program that is an after-school program in Harlem where kids from sixth grade to 12th grade come to the street squash facility in Harlem, where they get a combination of academic support and squash. And you're exercising by, uh, minds and bodies. And it's a great program. It has had huge success in having uh, a high rate of high school graduation and college enrollment and, and graduating from college 
in a part of New York where the statistics are really alarming in terms of the kids that end up being able to graduate from high school, let alone go to college. This program has changed lives. It will continue to change lives. I love being part of it. Um, it's, it's a great program. Well, I think it's a perfect combination of your personal passions and your purpose. So thank you so much, Vivek, for joining me today. And thank you for joining us for On Purpose. I look forward to seeing you again next month.